Hey there guys, it is Brave here. Yes, yes it is Brave here. And as a matter of fact, today guys, we're going to be talking about the Gong with the Wind achievement on Black Ops 4 Zombies. I have been playing this game non-stop an absolutely unhealthy amount the past few days, so putting out this tutorial for you guys really is going to help me out. If you make sure to drop a like below, if it helps you out, and if you get the achievement through doing what I say, or through, you know, just being really good at the game. Alright, so the most important thing for you to actually have in your kit, the only thing you truly need, is the Temporal Gift Elixir. And honestly, this is so insanely good to be a regular elixir, because it makes the durations of your insta-kills and double points last longer. And obviously, that's just going to really, really help you out, especially with you needing points and needing to clear through these rounds very, very fast. So as you can see here on round one, I pretty much just knifed. Also, you're going to want to bring uh, the Essex model that I brought. It's really, really helpful against um, all the champions. You wouldn't think it is, and by really, really helpful, I mean it's just about as good as like the other wall guns, and it saves you points in the long run, so it'll really help you out. Just bring it along, and you'll have a good time. I promise you. So to take out the first champion, you're going to want to be using your Essex model. As I stated before, it is really, really powerful. Um, just spend a little bit of time killing him, uh, especially with the round two zombies. It's very, very easy just to like maneuver around him. It's fine. You won't get hit. And you're going to want to make your way over the bridge um, after defeating the Ra statue, and then make your way over to the Danu statue. And when you're at the Danu statue, you can have a choice at this point, because there's always a chance that you can get tigers. If you get tigers, you can just kill them with your Essex. Aim for the head. Um, if they try to hit you, make sure that your back is to them. That is how you actually avoid the one-shot by the tigers. A lot of people don't know this for some reason. Anyway, um, if you get tigers, you don't need to use your separate yet, but if you do get tigers, just kill them with the Essex. But if you don't get tigers, go ahead and pull out your separate and just break their armor really quick. Honestly, it melts them, and it is my favorite specialist weapon to use. Um, if you guys want to use different specialist weapons against them, you can, but honestly, the specialist of uh, for Ra is just so good going up against the armor, and I really, really enjoy it, and I think that you guys will too. All right, so after killing that second champion, you are going to want to make your way to the Temple of Danu, where you currently are, and run all the way down, pick up that 9mm gun off the wall. I don't remember exactly what it's called, I just remember that it has 9mm in the name. Open up that door, and then just keep killing zombies. You're probably going to want to pick up an insta-kill or a double points at this point. There is a little bit of RNG required in this achievement, but it's nothing that you can't deal with. Just make sure that you have enough points to make your way up to the Temple of Odin or the Temple of Zeus. Either one, it's pretty much the same amount of points either way. I think there might be a 250 point difference actually in total for buying one of the doors. So uh, pick your poison. Then you want to go ahead and when you are at the um, Odin or the Zeus statue, go ahead, walk up, press the gong. You should have your Scepter of Ra ready again at this point. And look at what is spawning in. At this point, you honestly have to decide, is it worth using your Scepter of Ra yet? Um, if more than anything, do you have 2,000 points in order to go by the next door? If you have already gotten Tigers in this run, you're going to need your, to use your Scepter against both of these. However, in my run, I actually got Tigers last, so it was nothing for me to worry about, but there's always a chance that you can get Tigers all the way back at the beginning. So, with that being said, make sure that you have 2,000 points ready to go ahead and buy the uh, bridge down, if necessary, to go kill these two champions at once. Um, you also can't spawn them both in at once. You have to kill them. You have to kill the first one first, and then you can go hit the second gong and spawn in the other one. Again, not what's happening in the video right now because I got pretty lucky. But all in all, um, as long as you are proficient with what you're doing with, with your scepter of Ra or whatever specialist weapon you might have on you, you will be able to complete this achievement very, very easily. It is a lot of fun to do, actually. Um, I, I want to try to get a better time on this than I already did. Another important thing to note is that when you do get this achievement, it's not going to pop up right away. It does take a little while to pop up on the screen. Nothing to worry about, though. I'm sure you did it. And um, if you don't have it, like, I'd say a minute after the five minute mark, then yeah, it's probably safe to say that you didn't get it and you can probably go redo it. But I did do this within the five minute mark and that is going to wrap up this achievement guide. If you want me to make more, let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like if you did find this video helpful and if you aren't subscribed already, please do so. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much and remember, have an amazing day.